Hi, ich stehe hier gerade auf der Golfo Azubo. Das ist das Schiff von der NGO Open Arms und das ist genau das Schiff, was vor wenigen Tagen von der libyschen Küstenwache mitten dieser Search and Rescue Zone angegriffen wurde. Wir sind vorgestern hier in den Hafen eingelaufen und ich habe das Glück, dass ich mit dem Captain dieser Mission ein kleines Interview führen darf und bin schon ganz gespannt, was er jetzt zu erzählen hat. My name is Adrian Sonnefeld. I'm the captain of the Golf Azuro. Um, I'm operating together with the NGO Proactiva Open Arms, a Spanish NGO. And the foundation who is running the ship is a Dutch foundation called Golfo Azuro. You were now just out there on the Mediterranean Sea in the search and rescue zone. What happened out there? Uh, the situation was that we were out of the 24 mile zone. We were just patrolling and we did some exercises with the ribs and uh, suddenly the uh, Libyan Coast Guard showed up with a former uh, Coast Guard vessel from the Italian Coast Guard and they directly uh, were turning around our ship with their uh, Coast Guard vessel and we started talking on the VHF that we have to move away and that we, they, we, they have warned us uh, before and that we uh, are arrested more or less and then they threat us to uh, point the bow to Tripoli to go to Tripoli otherwise they will shoot us. They For sure they aren't. What was your reaction to that threat? Well the reaction the first time was just to uh, talk to them and uh, get uh, time yeah, to stretch the period that you can do something and um, we called of course we called MRCC and we called uh, EU, EU Navy vessels, but they both say uh, that they cannot help. For example, the UNRCC was saying to us, uh, you have to call the, the flag state Panama, because this is a Panama ship. We still uh, continue to, uh, to stretch the time uh, schedule for, uh, and slightly I pointing the bow uh, to, the, to the north, still going that slow, and they were pushing us to go faster, we said no, negative, we don't do this, we, go, we maintain the speed and we are asking EU warships for our protection. The crew was mentioning to close up the vessel and guide the, uh, the volunteers to the safe room. Perhaps this is not very heavy yeah. yeah. ship and it can easily be towed by a coast guard vessel to Tripoli, which takes three hours. Normally a safe room is, well, is safe when you are sure that you get help within a half an hour. But that was not the case. So, at that moment I realized that the, the safe room is safe for the time being, but not for this whole situation. And there were also a lot of phone calls going to involved persons from countries like Spain and Italy to get somebody uh, do something about this, who has the power. And that, that it's going into the levels of the uh, government of uh, Spain and Italy. We don't know which one make, makes it happen that suddenly we can go north by uh, saying of the uh, Libyan Coast Guard vessel, but something happens and then we can go. How long did it take? About two and a half hours. Yeah, myself was also scared about uh, the fact that I can't do anything. I was a sitting duck. When you have, for example, when you have uh, weapons on board or we have a Navy vessel in the neighborhood, you can call him and then you know they disappear. But that was, the, that was the situation before. I was relying on that, but it wasn't there. That's the only thing that changed. The, the Coast Guard of Libya was crazy all the time, was unreliable all the time, was violent all the time. But what he had in the early operations is that we had protection. And now we didn't. It's an unsafe situation. And do you have any reaction from the European Union afterwards? No, no nothing. They don't, do not communicate anything about it. Nothing. Would you feel safe to go back out there? With a guard vessel from any uh, nation except Italy. When you have German uh, crew, German volunteers, make sure that the ver German uh, vessel is protecting you. They have to send a warship. And there is a warship in, in the operation. And it's the best thing they can do, save or protect their own uh, citizens. And the flag shouldn't make any difference, because the flag is the flag for the vessel, but not for the crew. When you are stepping on an, uh, an eponymous uh, vessel, you're still an 
German citizen, isn't it? So this is a completely European setup to get the NGO vessels out of the SAR zone, uh, together with the decision from Libya to enlarge the SAR zone. They make it unsafe, or they make it feel unsafe. Um, at the end, the NGO vessels, uh, vessels will be pushed away because from both sides, from Libya side and European side, it will be made impossible to continue this kind of uh, operations.